Okay, did you guys hear what BYU football did to their ticketing program? My bro, God. Bro. So, and I, I say this in all sincerity. I have no sarcasm. You need to understand something. BYU football in the LDS community is a way of life. Season tickets are generational at BYU. Your mom, her mom, now you and your kids and their kids. That's BYU football. So when your mom's mom bought tickets and they auto renewed every year, right? Season tickets. And then your mom went to the seventh layer of heaven and those tickets became your tickets. And then as the generations went on and well, you died, then your kids got your tickets, which were your mom's tickets. Mm -hmm. Because every year they just auto renewed. Until a policy change came down. Uh, now, um, there's no more auto renewing and there's no more generational tickets. See, because it's all done based on who gives more to the athletic program. Oh. <laughs> so now your butt cheeks don't sit where your mom's butt cheeks and her mom's butt cheeks once sat. Now you have to get a date and time to renew season tickets based on how much you've donated to the athletic department. Yeah. This is dumb. There are some things that I understand have to change. We have to make more money in our athletic departments. But can you imagine a legacy family that's had BYU tickets for 50 years, not having that seat anymore? Can you imagine when you, for multiple generations, have gone to Lavelle Edwards Stadium and sat in the same seat and sat in the exact same seat as your grandma, your mom, and now you to watch BYU football with your boys just the same way that maybe your dad took you and your brother. Now you've got to go sit across the stadium and you got to look at some asshole who's got more money than you and donated more to the athletic department sitting in your dad's and your granddad's seats. I think this is one of the worst policies BYU has ever come up with. It is different. You need to understand because of the faith and the, the, the material difference in, in life at BYU. You have to understand this is one of the most foolish money grabs I have ever seen. And I think it is a, Huge mistake. Yeah, it sends the wrong message, no doubt. I think it is a huge mistake. Huge mistake. Yeah, what's anyone going to do about it? Huge mistake. I I, ju I cannot fathom that you are going to take families. And you want to talk about contributing to an athletic department. Generational money to pay for those season tickets. That just, that money means nothing? Uh, it, it is. I it's am wild. shocked. Yeah, it's wild that this is the situation. Uh, I just can't. I cannot believe it. I, I cannot. You're. You do you understand? Like, it's not it, at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. It's very difficult to have a bad seat. It, it is a beautiful venue. It is easily one of the most picturesque, beautiful places to watch a football game. Yeah. At nighttime football in September in in October at Lavelle Edwards Stadium is, Amazing. I mean, unreal. And the idea that I've got to sit somewhere else than my family and past generations have sat because I don't have the wherewithal to donate at the level of Jim and Tammy, and, and they get to bring their daughter Breland to the game instead of me and sit in my family seats is disgusting. Yeah, It is a horribly, horribly thought out process uh, i just cannot i can't i cannot fathom it yeah cannot fathom it uh eric and rally byu finally embracing the modern way to make money on ticket sales at whose expense 
It's not the modern way you make tick. That's just, it's just not the right thing to do. Texas A&M did a similar thing as BYU. People were pissed and most got way worse seat locations. It's terrible. It is absolutely terrible. Yep. Jeremy Severe, why does the ticketing program thing not surprise me? I, it probably should not. And this is where not understanding the money at BYU is very difficult. It, it is because you're never going to know what they make or don't make. It's shocking to me that that's the case. Dakota Tubbs, sounds like if you donate more to the church, you get better kickbacks. Essentially, you do. Yeah. Uh, and Donuts, Sataki will lead BYU to a five-win season, maybe. No, I completely disagree. I completely disagree. Oh, look, dickheads in the comment section. <laughs> uh, Big Daddy Magic, thank God, not BYU fans, right? Ferris Khan, tickets are not real estate. Not sure why these guys don't understand that. As usual, Ferris shows his stupidity. <laughs> and again, I, I, I just say, Michigan fan reveals himself every single day. Yeah. Uh, first of all, have you ever owned season tickets to anything of value? And I would think that if your dad and his dad and your brothers and your uncles had spent lifetimes going to, in your case, Michigan football, which nobody did, the bandwagon's amazing at, at, at Michigan. 100%. Um, if your if your family heritage had been dedicated to Michigan football, you wouldn't be talking about real estate, dumbass. You would understand the meaning. But again, at, at Michigan, you guys are not great football fans. You're frankly You're convenient football fans. You are convenient football fans. And it's it's what I it's it's what I try to explain to people. Football at BYU is a way of life. Football in Utah, college football in Utah is different. It's not the same. It, it's not Michigan. Michigan State is not even in the same breath as Utah versus BYU. Yeah, Utah and BYU football fans don't 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 have an NFL team where they can go and be be that they can go and make their number one and then fall back on the college team, which is what routinely happens for Michigan. It is as simply as I can say it. BYU football, Utah football, it is a way of life. It is it is not secondary. You have families who don't speak to each other ever. You have you have you have mothers and sons and husbands and wives and brothers and sisters who do not speak for weeks at a time. They do you guys understand like the way you don't talk politics at the dinner table? Do you understand in this state? People do not talk BYU and Utah at the dinner table. You 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 can't. So the idea that you would take generational relationships, generational memories, and just throw them in the trash. It's incomprehensible. I, yeah. I just can't. There's got to be a, I understand you've got to raise money. I understand because what this is, it's the equivalent. And again, Ferris is too naive to understand this. It's the equivalent of a PSL, which is a personal seat license, which is to say, hey, you're going to have to pay $150,000 for the right to own this seat per seat. And then you have to pay for tickets to come to games in that seat. That's that's what this is. This is in a college environment. You are telling season ticket holders, here's your here's your personal seat license. This is what it's going to cost. And I completely disagree with it. Yeah, but uh, let's just make sure we roll out all that legislation on players and making sure that, you know. I, I, you know come BYU on. football. Come on. BYU football is, it, it, I, I, you can't, unless you have experienced it, unless you understand it, Unless you have sat in the same seat as your granddad and your dad, your uncles, like I, I don't mean to be redundant about it. It's just different. It's not, it's not unlike certain situations at other universities. 
But you, I, I love, and this is why the Mormon LDS stereotypes that everybody loves to run out. You don't get it. You don't understand why you don't talk about BYU and Utah at the dinner table. And this thing at BYU with the ticket policy really bothers me. Yeah, I mean, as it should. And I, and I, and I think that, you know, what's surprising to me is that, is that there isn't more value put on the support of families, you know, who, who have supported the program for decades. And, and, you know, I, I, BYU is, is one of those programs that's fortunate to have that type of support. They're fortunate. They benefit yes. from the local landscape and in, in the, in the way that, that fans interact with them because fans don't have an NFL team here. Fans don't have, you know, uh, 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 other, other teams to distract them. It's essentially the jazz and then Utah and BYU. Yep. It's those three. So uh, it just surprises me. Speaking of which I only see, I only see the ceiling at big O tires. Good there morning. he is. My guy, like, hey, did you hear about this BYU ticket policy? Yeah, I've known about it, obviously, because I had to buy tickets. Sorry, I'm making some popcorn for you, Monty. Oh, wow. I like it. See, again, you go into Big O. That's the other. We talk about tire smells at Big O Tires. Dude, you walk in there with a fresh popcorn cooking. My God. And you always have fresh popcorn. Always. Oh, yeah. Like, do you fresh sweep popcorn. the floor as well? Like, is there anything as an owner at Big O Tires that you don't do? <laughs> uh, you know, you got you to gotta do everything at one point in your life, right? Yeah. Clean yeah, yeah. So how do you feel about this BYU ticket? It, it I, I've heard from a bunch of BYU fans about this and it and it does I don't know. I, I what what is BYU football? You're a BYU supporter. What does BYU football mean to you? Like how important is BYU football to you? Uh I would say it's a very unhealthy, important part of my life. <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, no, we, we love it in our house. Um, I've got to the point where my, I have a five-year-old and an eight-year-old, and they will go to a game and watch the whole game, not ask to go leave and run around. My youngest, actually, he'll, I'll come home from work, and he'll be laying in the couch watching an old BYU game from this last year. Yeah. So it's very important in our house. We love football. We love baseball. Um, but it's it's awesome. But yeah, I know there are a lot of fans that are super upset at the way they have handled this ticket situation. Um, I don't have an answer. I don't know what the best way would to do it would be. But you do have a lot of pissed off people yeah. um, and people who have been in their seats for 15, 20 years. And now not only are they not in their seats, they're nowhere near their section or they're not even in the stadium. Like, yeah. There's certain people, unless you, I don't know what on this week, I don't know who's buying, what level of Cougar Club members are buying right now. But yeah, there are a lot of disappointed fans. And I, I think that could have a negative impact on less because I would of agree. the excitement and the being in, and that's what makes less a little different. I'm not saying we're the best stadium, but we have a very different stadium than most. Is you have so many fans who are so passionately involved in every game. And so it makes it loud. It makes it intense. A lot of the fans that have been going for 20, 18, 15 years, they understand the game of football. So they know, hey, we need to be loud right now, not just when the play started, right? Like, And so I think you're going to have a lot of uh, – you could have a negative impact in that, in that sense, um, which does stink, but also just traditions, right? We, we yes. love it traditions and People yeah don't i don't understand football's not football like it is in every other state and i've tried to to help people understand the fact that again the analogy i always use is you don't talk byu utah at the dinner table because ultimately it's not going to end well ryan right like you don't you don't talk about it yeah it, it, here in this state we don't say don't talk about politics at the dinner table we say don't talk about utah and byu 100 percent i agree bring on, bring on the politics that's nothing until you get in byu and utah <laughs> I love what is it and not to be nostalgic about it, but what is it like sharing that with your kids? Because I think that's the guy that's going to lose. I, 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 a, a, a guy DM me like over the weekend talking about how he's going to lose his, his parents seats and that it's mm -hmm. going to be, they offer, he, he essentially said at his price point, he'll be across the stadium and he'll be able to see different people sitting in those seats that have been in his family for, for years now. And that's what he's upset about. So, like, what does it mean to you to to share BYU football with your kids? I mean, 
It's awesome. I, but I, th that's super sad to hear that story. But for me, it's, it's everything like this. We went to the alumni game and my kids loved it. Interacting with some of the players and watching the older guy play flag and um, bumped into Steve Young. And it, it was just cool experience for them. Um, and I think creating those memories are a great part of a family. Yeah. And when you're not in an opportunity, and unfortunately, it's all about money. It is. It truly I mean, is. At the end of the day, and I, I know they say our tickets are still relatively cheaper than most uh, in the Big 12, but still, it, it still does stink. Um, but I, I knew the prices had to go up from going from independence to the Big 12. I oh, get it, yeah. right? I yeah. totally get it. But the, the, the way they could have done it, I think, is different. Um, but like I said, hey, it's not my job. I have no say. I'm just voicing my opinion. But I think it could have a negative impact. But and like you're going to have some fans that have been going to every home game for the most part that are just buying one or two tickets now. Yeah. And I don't yeah, know yeah. if you guys buy season tickets to any stadium, but I think one of the problems is that you can buy 12 tickets starting from, from AD to Legacy 6 all the way down. Every, every person, depending on where you're don donating, you can buy 12 tickets. That's and wild. some of those people are buying four tickets for their family, then buying eight more in a different section and selling them. So yep. in my opinion, there's the problem. You I do that with the Cubs. I, 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 I can't, I, I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't. I, that's what I do with the Cubs. I'm a Cubs season ticket holder. And that's exactly what I do with the Cubs, man. Yeah, so. but hold on. Are you getting uh, early access to buy tickets before other people in the public? No. Or are you? Yeah, oh, no gee, comment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, so I feel like that kind of, I mean, I get why you did it. I, I get it. And I get why people do it. But I think to create that family tradition, if we, have, if we got rid of that, you'd have a lot more people that were in the upper or in the end zone sections that could be buying tickets. Because those are always the last what? tickets to go. Why am I a Cubs season ticket holder? Not because I live close, right? Like we go to spring training every year. We have tickets in Mesa. We go to spring training every year for a week. And it's a thing we do with our family. And, and I absolutely love it. So what I don't love is I just bought a, I told you I bought the BMW. I've had it two weeks, Ryan, and I have a broken windshield already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I have a broken window. It's so, it's so frustrating to me the way that glass repair works. And so you you tinted my windows, obviously, uh, on the Jeep. Um, like, it, it, why, why is glass so expensive? Why are windshields so expensive? Capitalism, my friend. They have a monopoly on our industry over here. And they know that new BMW you drive they know they can charge whatever they want because it's a brand new BMW. That glass costs the same as the 2014 BMW, but because it's a BMW, they can charge what they want, and they're charged you a calibration fee, which yep. they don't have to calibrate it. Like, I don't know. It sucks. I mean, there's sometimes people bring me – they'll bring me in a quote from right next door. So next to Bigo Tires in America for the safe light. I'm not shouting them out. They're just right next to me. Um they, I will have customers bring me in quotes, and I kid you not, I am literally half the price on some windshields. Half. It's brutal. So, it's yeah, twelve hundred dollars mm. is the cost of that windshield. And it's you're not exactly under right. Well, we'll calibrate it for you. Is it under warranty? <laughs> it, it, yeah, dude. It's yeah. It it's, is under warranty, or it's not. No, it's not under warranty. Oh, you seem to text me your VIN. Uh, I'll be cheaper in 1200 bucks. Yeah, you absolutely will. Yeah, we're we're kind <laughs> of. I it, it, I don't. Mm, this is why I always. This is why I bring my stuff to you because it's so frustrating to deal with. I don't know why people go to the dealership for auto repair. A guy like you, you're gonna you're t I'm, you're talking to the owner of the of the of Big O Tires in American Fork, and you you quite literally. I think your biggest thing is I get better service. I get faster service. I essentially get concierge service where I get a custom experience. And I'm quite literally in a lot of cases, right? I'm paying you 50% of what a dealer would cost. Yep. hundred percent. Yeah. It's crazy. So, 
We don't call them dealerships here at Big O Tires in America Fork. We call them stealerships. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. It's absolutely the truth. I don't know why you would ever people if you're buying tires from a, a car. Think about the cost of a tire. It, it it's wild. Anyway, um, you're fifty. You still have your spring special going on. Yes. Yeah. Because people are excited about I don't I several people have asked me about it. So roll your spring special out for me. Uh it's our spring special. It's $59.99. We do an oil change. We'll rotate your tires. Um, check all the pressure and all your sensors, check your fluids, top off your fluids, and we'll also do a free alignment check as well on uh, all your vehicles. And uh I would also point out that $59.99 for an oil change on its own is a bargain these days. That is a fantastic deal. Uh, my guy, I appreciate you. Don't forget every Thursday, 7.30, Jake Retzloff presented by Big O Tires and American Fork. Go in, see Ryan, get your tires, your complete auto care needs, everything you need on your car. Give him a shot because Ryan, Ryan, you're going to beat their price. I would just, Anybody that walks in you, you're going to beat their price, right? Right. And on tires right now, we're running a couple promos, $100 off any Nexon or Toyo tires. You want some NATOs on your truck as well. $120 off on those. That's for the next three weeks. Um, and we're offering that same promo, 12 month, no entrance in-house financing or six oh, wow. months, whatever one works. So 12 months, no interest. Man, you what do put you a, have to lose? No, make no the phone interest. Call. Make the phone call. Go in and see Ryan. 12 months in-house. That's fantastic. See, you just have so many advantages when you shop local help your, your small business owner like Ryan at Big O Tires and American Fork. Ryan, good to see you, man. I appreciate you uh, supporting the show. No problem. How's it going, guys? Take care. See you next week. That's Ryan at Big O Tires, you guys. That $59.99 deal. It's legit. I, that is an... And he has 12 months, zero financing in-house. No reason not to have your car dialed in. That's crazy. I, this this ticket thing's a big deal. And it's guys like Ryan at Big O Tires. He's got a five and an eight-year-old, man. Yeah. And they're watching BYU football together. Not anymore, that's, they're not. That's meaningful. That's meaningful, man. I'm I'm telling you, that's 100% I, meaningful. It surprises me that, that like, I agree with what Ryan said. Hey, you understand that going to the Big 12, ticket prices are going to go up. But but ticket yes. prices going up is different than, hey, we're going to change how we do season tickets. That's two completely different conversations. And, and it, it does bother me. I feel like, I feel like there are a lot of things in life where just like, yep, it's getting more expensive. Yep, it's more expensive whether you like it or not. And you just got to deal with it. And if you don't want to pay it, you're not going to get it. And we don't care if that upsets you. Yep, totally agree. 